Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chavi. Welcome to 6B TV, my YouTube channel. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. So on this video, I'm going to be making ultimate moto vlogging setup using my uh, Bell Qualifier DLX helmet. Um, I'm going to be mounting a GoPro Hero 5 uh, using a uh, curb adhesive mount that came with it. But because the, the chin area is not flat or doesn't align with the curb mount, um, I'm going to be making a mold using a uh, epoxy putty or a plumber's putty. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys. So I'm going to be using my Bell DLX qualifier helmet for this setup and a GoPro Hero 5. Um, I've already gone ahead and bought some painter's tape because I'm going to be putting a painter's tape uh, so that when the putty adheres to the tape, it doesn't stick to the helmet because this is going to be a temporary setup because uh, I'm going to be uh, fixing a chin mount using a, uh, a 3M BHB tape. tape. Now, I purchased a fix it stick. This is the all purpose um, bonding putty. So I'm going to be using this one, uh, painter's tape, and then the chin mount. As you guys can see, I've already uh, a, a applied a painter's tape, uh, you know, in the chin area so that when I am uh, using the putty, it doesn't uh, stick to the helmet permanently. Because um, like I said I, before, I'm going to be using a, uh, a 3M tape to double-sided tape to uh, kind of, you know, uh, attach the the... Um, curb mount on the helmet now the next step is to remove the um, the 3m tape that came that comes with the uh, the curb mount so I'm gonna take this out I've already you know kind of got it more than three quarters of the way and there we go okay, so we got the uh, the GoPro chin mount um, you know detached from the uh, double-sided 3m bhb tape um, so the goal is to attach this right about here like uh yeah right right in there uh so that my my gopro will fit like at an angle uh, uh which gives me a perfect pov or point of view so uh next step is to uh break the putty and mix it on your hand have to mix the putty until you get that even color all around hey so now it looks more even to me so let's kind of get it flat and get it on this one here Okay, now that I have applied the uh, putty and uh, attached a curb mount, um, it's going to get that shape, uh, you know, get to that shape of the chin of my helmet. So let's uh, leave this for uh, 24 hours and we'll come back and see how it goes. As you guys can see here, so this is really hard. Um, it's solid and it's not going to come off. But because I put it on top of the tape, I'm going to take this off, uh, sand it uh, with, uh, with the medium grade uh, sandpaper uh, and then uh, I'll kind of make it neat, uh, paint it and then we'll stick it using the uh, 3M um, VHB tapes or stickies. Okay, so I'm going to gently take this out so that the uh, mount comes up. Wow, it's it's really really tight it's not gonna come off even you know with so much force that i'm applying into it but okay i'm gonna try to pry it with the the sniffs there we go okay so 
there it is it's 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 solid it's hard and yeah it's it's unbreakable and it's molded to the shape of my helmet it sits floss in there so I'm gonna be uh, cleaning this uh, sanding it down so that all this access uh, is gone and then uh, basically I can paint it black so and then I, we can just uh, attach it right here so take the medium grid sandpaper and then try to sand this thing all right guys so i have already sent this down and uh yeah now it looks much neater all those extra access putty has been taken out and it's uh it's very smooth and nice uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna apply some uh, black spray paint uh, on this so that the color stays uniform now that i have painted black and the color looks uniform it's ready to be mounted uh on my helmet so let me uh attach some vhb uh, tape this one i picked up from uh staples um, now because the tape is a little bit uh, smaller it doesn't go well here so what I have to do is I have to cut two pieces to um, you know perfectly align so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it sideways so let me start from the top here yeah like that then I'll cut it off and then I'm gonna apply another piece here on the other side I hope it kind of aligns perfectly it does so there is the second piece and we're gonna cut that access so now it's applied um, the only thing I need to do is cut all this access tape around and make it neater um, and then you know stick it on the helmet and and leave it for like 24 some hours so that it kind of sticks to it i hope this one works as i intended so let me cut it around the edges yeah it's kind of nice using my snips to cut all the access tape yeah and if you don't have a you know sharp uh, snips or a scissor or any cutting tool then it may not it may not work well because the tape sticks to it all right it looks perfect to me uh it's ready to be mounted okay now that it's ready to go to the uh helmet i've got um so yeah it's gonna go right about here in the center or when i uh, made the putty you know it kind of lines right about there you guys probably won't see it so let me peel this off and then we'll try to perfectly aligned okay so it's been peeled off and ready to go so i i hope i kind of get it yeah so kind of get it gently in there don't press it because you want to make sure the whole thing aligns before you checking on all sides to make sure there's no gap or anything so let's apply some pressure here so i'm gonna apply pressure for about 60 seconds Okay, so now the pressure is applied for 60 seconds and it's mounted and good to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp this thing. Here I got my clamp. I'm going to clamp this thing for about uh, 24 hours. And okay, so I'm going to leave this uh, clamped for about 20, 24 hours. And then, uh, you know, we'll test it probably mount a gopro and see how that one goes so far so good and you might be wondering i may not be able to open these vents here there we go i'm able to open the vents so with this mount uh everything is accessible you know and i don't need to um add any other extra accessories on the side to make it work the only thing that i need to add 
and I'm hoping to add a velcro on this side and velcro on that side so um, let me bring that up here yeah so I'm gonna attach a velcro on either side so that like this so that it kind of holds my um, mic adapter for the GoPro so I'll I'll do this on either side okay so after leaving my helmet clamped uh, with the adhesive mount uh, with the curb mount uh, for more than 24 hours uh, this is what it turned out so let's take the clamp off and see what it feels like this feels solid this feels secure it's not gonna go anywhere guys so I'm really really impressed let's slide the GoPro I've already got a GoPro on a, a J hook um, with the couple of connector mounts so I'm gonna slide the GoPro right about here and let that click so there we go, now that it's clicked. There we go. Okay, so here is the GoPro attached to the uh, connector mount with the J hook, and it's attached to the, the curb mount that is using the uh, epoxy putty, you know, with the adhesive mount. It's really secure, it's really nice, and it gives me a proper point of view. POV from here and I can adjust the angle or if I wanted to kind of you know get the tilt or if I wanted to get you know different kind of sort I will be able to do that as well from here and then kind of leave it if I don't wanted to use this connector mount I can attach the GoPro directly to the J hook but I think doing this kind of gives me a better uh, angle the other thing that you guys might have noticed is that my GoPro is facing upward because when you have a helmet on uh, you know this is what it looks like and then it will be kind of facing downward so you would want to have your GoPro pointing a little bit upward so that it kind of gives you a better view in there um, so yeah it, it's very very secure and I'm really really impressed with what it turned out to be just to give you guys an idea of uh, what it feels like uh, let's hold the GoPro and let the helmet you know the, the full weight of the helmet is kind of you know it's it's pulling against the adhesive mount and it's still secure and I can move so that kind of tells me it's it's really nice and and secure there so um, now thank you so much for watching this video guys I hope you know this video was helpful in any means uh, if if it was helpful or if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing and stay tuned for the next video where I will be making uh, uh, or where I'll be attaching the Sony ECM uh, microphone with the um, GoPro 3.5 mil adapter and then completing my setup so how I wire my helmet and whatnot it will all be in the next video so until then, see you in the next video.